Last season, when Starbuck was forced out of the game, the Redskins fell victim to Clint Longley's miracle on Thanksgiving. One year later, it was the doomsday defense and Cliff Harris's helmet that drove a stake into their offense. The 31-10 rod of Washington was tapped by a final irony. Safety Charlie Waters, so often battered in Redskin victories, scored the climatic touchdown that left George Allen out of the playoff cold for the first time in five years. Nineteen seventy-five was a year the Dallas Cowboys came full circle. After years of being champions, they were Cinderellas. To reach the Super Bowl, they had to win two away games. But history was on their side, for the Cowboys had not lost in the first round of the playoffs since 1969. In Minnesota, Tom Landry's team was on the brink of elimination even though they had outfought and outfought the Vikings for 58 minutes. Trailing 14 to 10, 80 yards stood between Dallas and victory. Rayfield Wright drove number 81, Carl Eller, from Bloomington to Minneapolis as Starbuck desperately sought and found Drew Pearson. Pearson's catch moved the Cowboys to midfield with just 24 seconds remaining. The trusty shotgun seemed no match for the Viking zone, which denied the bomb but could not hold back America. In one magic moment, Drew Pearson transformed defeat into victory. Roger Starbuck described it as a Hail Mary play. The controversy over Pearson's touchdown obscured the fact that Dallas clearly dominated Minnesota and deserved to win. Many chalked their victory up to luck. Surely they said the miracles would dry up against the imposing Los Angeles Rams, a team that had scored a decisive playoff victory over the Cardinals. Tom Landry's defensive strategy was simple. Stop Larry McCutcheon. McCutcheon, who gained 237 yards against St. Louis, was flat out crushed and held to 10 yards on 11 carries. With McCutcheon eliminated, the over-eager front four towed out and stampeded into quarterback Ron Jaworski. The question still remained whether Landry's offense could budge the NFC's number one defense. The interior line of Fitzgerald, Nye, and Lawless held firm in the middle, while Rayfield Wright drove out Jack Youngblood and Ralph Neely kicked out Fred Dreyer. The day belonged to 30-year-old Preston Pearson the former basketball player at Illinois, who once blocked a skyhook by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The former Steeler was the only cowboy ever to play for another NFL team, and the man Roger Starbuck called the key to our season. Pearson caught three touchdown passes and caused the fall of the Ram Empire in its own Coliseum. A day that began with shouting ended in silence as the Cowboys unhinged, then dismantled a defense that had yielded under 10 points a game during the 1975 season. This was a day of absolute victory. The defense held the Rams to seven points while the offense rolled up 37 of their own. But more than that, 
It was a tribute to Tom Landry and the bold strategies called Sandlot or worse. The Dallas Cowboys laid waste to the cynics and skeptics. They were the NFC champions. They were going to the Super Bowl. to tell and you really want to tell it well get it don't forget it on kodak film if you've got something to say then say it in a colorful way get it don't forget it on kodak film you'll feel better when you say i got it fun to be in back of the camera as it is to be in front of it. So keep on snapping, because with Kodak film, you've got what it takes. I got it! I got it! With Kodak film, you've got what it takes. TJN Productions presents its big summertime $10 and under arts and crafts show this Sunday with lots of nice gift ideas for Father's Day, all priced at $10 or under. Here it is, Austin. Capital Chevrolet has the savings on Monte Carlos you've been waiting for. Capital Chevrolet is having a special sale on all Monte Carlos this week, and they've even put them on a special lot. Check these specials. Stylish Monte Carlos like this as low as $52.95. Add the personal options that individualize your Monte Carlo and still save. Or save up to $1,250 on a loaded Monte Carlo. This is it, Austin. Capital Chevrolet has the savings you've been looking for on over 150 Monte Carlos. Hurry down to Fifth and Lamar and drive away in a Monte Carlo. Did you know that camping is not the only thing that Campfire Youth participate in? Through community service projects such as recycling, tree planting, and daycare centers, young people learn to be responsible citizens by helping others. You can help to support these programs in your area by buying Campfire Candy when a Campfire Youth comes to your door. Super Sunday dawned bright and sunny. For the Dallas Cowboys, it was another day of being underdogs. After so much accomplished, they would have been forgiven for falling flat on their helmets. Instead, they played dead even with the world champion Pittsburgh Steelers and made the 10th Super Bowl the most exciting and competitive ever. Dallas displayed their signature offense, a versatile and varied attack. Unlike so many teams before them, they did not dull out this game. Their philosophy was as clear as a kid's letter from camp. Having fun, happy to be here. The defense which held Chuck Foreman and Lawrence McCutcheon to under 100 yards in the playoffs limited Franco Harris to 82 on 27 attempts. The Cowboys led for most of the game but the Pittsburgh Steelers and graceful Lynn Swan were the better team at the end. Later Swan said, after my touchdown, we all expected them to give up. They never did. The die-hard Cowboys battled to the final second when time and the Steelers combined to defeat them 21 to 17. Painful as it was to lose the biggest game of the season, everyone agreed there were no losers in Super Bowl X. Certainly not the Dallas Cowboys, who re-established themselves as champions and continued a streak of excellence that has produced 10 straight winning seasons and nine playoff appearances in 10 years. The best is yet to come, for this is a young team, a team with spirit and character. 
a team that wins with a smile. A smile is a necessary feature for anybody who's lucky enough to be a Cowboy fan, because with their consistent record of greatness, it's something you use almost every Sunday.